Cheap, sleek, and ready to print right out of the box, the Monoprice Mini Delta promises a lot in a small package. We take a hard look at this printer to find out just who needs a tiny, portable 3D printer like this, and whether you should take the plunge. Find out what we uncovered in this review of the Monoprice Mini Delta. As you might guess from the name, the Mini Delta is tiny. It measures 17.5 by 11.8 by 11 inches. Accordingly, the build area is a little smaller than average. It's cylindrical and will do for making small to medium-sized models. Larger objects will have to be assembled from parts afterward. The Mini Delta's print head is held by three arms, one of which is attached to a drive belt that is turned by a motor. Three motors in the base of the printer move each of the drive belts, which in turn move the arms up and down. This movement shifts the print head, laying down the print material on the Mini Delta's circular heated print bed. The build area is open, but this model doesn't really have any problems maintaining a consistent temperature. You can always create an enclosure for it, though, if you'd like. We were pleased to find that the simple construction provides plenty of scope for modification, though, including possible expanding its build volume slightly. You might not think a budget printer like the Mini Delta would have great print quality, but it's true. By lowering the print speed, you can drastically improve your models. In fact, at the slowest setting, we found that the layers were far harder to discern, and there were far fewer excess strands of filament hanging off. In addition to PLA and ABS, this printer can create models with PETG, the plastic used in drink bottles, and wood-infused filaments, although this requires a metal nozzle. This gives the user greater flexibility in terms of what they can build, perfect for beginners or those looking to push the limits of entry-level 3D printers. Physically, the MP Mini Delta is a simple printer to set up. You just unpack it, remove some packing tape and foam, and plug it in. You then use the LCD screen and controls on the printer to load the filament, with the reel hanging on a hook on the back of the printer body. We were amazed to see Wi-Fi compatibility included in an entry-level printer, since it's usually only found in premium models, and even then, it's not guaranteed. You can also choose to import models directly from your PC, USB stick, or SD card, in case there's no internet connection where you are, as the printer includes a micro SD card port and a micro USB. There's one more interesting feature, automatic bed leveling. This can be done with a single click and takes much of the hassle out of preparing a print. Leveling is often the most difficult part for new users, so we're glad that this can be done with as little hassle as possible here. We found that the MP Mini Delta was a fairly fast printer, producing our 4-inch tall Thinker test print in 3 hours and 36 minutes in fast mode, and 8 hours and 41 minutes in normal print mode. That's a little faster than other low-cost printers, like the XYZ DaVinci Junior Mix 2.0, which took a little less than 5 hours in a similar fast print. The quality of the prints produced by the MP Mini Delta was decent, though not outstanding. 